Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Kavya. In this video, I'm going to explain the SAS Certified Specialist, question number 25. And if you're watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to the Great Online Training channel and like the video if you're liking the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification. Let me enter into the question number 25. The question number 25 is, what is the symbol for the macro variable? The options are at the rate, percent sign, ampersand and the dollar sign. By looking the question, we can say that the at the rate and the dollar sign are not related to the macros concept. The at the rate sign which is used for the formatted input method and the dollar sign which is used to indicate the character variable. And the second option is person and the third option is ampersand. The second option, the person symbol is not used to represent the macro variables directly, but it is significant in a SAS macro language as the symbol that precedes macro and the macro functions. That is, the person symbol is used to create the macro and also to invoke the macro, but not to represent the macro variable. For representation of the micro variable, the ampersand sign is used. For the more clarification, I will explain you in the SAS software. And here, let me write uh, the macro as the person. We have to create the macro by using the person symbol. And invoking of the macro is nothing but the name that we give into the macro. And here I give in the name as name. And this is the macro. And here I will give v1 is equals to v2 is equals to v1 is equals to v2 is equals to and v3 is equals to. I will write the prop means concept. Prop means data is equals to ampersand p1 and var is ampersand p2. And class is ampersand v3. And the run statement. And we have to close the macro as percent ampersand. Here we can see that. Uh, let me create the variables. And uh, name by using the person. Name is the macro that we created. And we have to give the values here. v1 is equals to says help dot class. And uh, v2 is equals to is and v3 is equals to 6 and close the bracket and then here you can see that I have created the macro variable by using the ampersand sign and I have created the macro by using the person sign and that's the difference between the macro person sign and the ampersand sign percent is used to create the macro and the ampersand which is used to represent the macro variable. Here I represented v1 as as help.class and it is represented as ampersand v1 and that is representation of the macro variable. This question is easy to answer but we will be uh, confused when we are uh, seeing the option the b and the c here the percent sign or the ampersand sign which is correct and from this the percent sign which is used to create the macro and also to invoke the macro and the ampersand sign which is used for the symbol for the macro variable. If you have any questions in this video, comment in the comment box and please subscribe to the great online training channel and like the video if you are liking the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification. If you want to learn the SAS certified specialist based programming, you can log in into the great online training channel and the link that was given below in the comment box. And thank you. Thank you for watching.